Hello, everybody. What's up, guys? Welcome to the first episode of Old Guy Ties Tips and Tricks. That's right. So, recently I posted a video to the Serato official DJ page, and it had a pretty good response. Essentially, it was just me practicing with a couple of webcams set up, but also recording my DJ interface in the same video. So, I could see what I'm doing exactly just as I'm mixing, as well as see what's going on inside my DJ software. I think this is a good idea because it helps you see what your posture is like when you're mixing. It basically just gives you an idea of what it is that you're doing, both on the mixer as well as in your DJ program. And just generally, it's a great way to review, you know, without just having to sit there and listen. You can actually watch too. So it's a little more entertaining to really just review what you've been doing when you're practicing. It's also essential for streaming to use the software I'm going to tell you guys about. Now, you can achieve this with just a couple of webcams and free software called OBS Project. Um, so what I'm going to do today is go over the software and tell you how to set it up, tell you exactly what you need because it's not just going to be the, uh, you know, the two webcams. You actually need like a sound card, things of that nature. So let's go ahead and dive right in and get started. All right, guys. So here's everything that you need to get started. First of all, a computer with a decent amount of RAM. I have 16 gigs of RAM in mine and a terabyte solid state hard drive seems to do pretty well. I have not had any problems with latency or anything like that. Two, free software called OBS Project that I've already mentioned. You can download this directly from obsproject.com for both PC and Mac. Three, webcams, as many as you want, but again, this just kind of depends on how much RAM your computer has, so don't go overboard with it. Four, some sort of a line in audio input. I use an external sound card uh, using line in. Just make sure that you're not plugging directly into a, like a microphone in, because that's going to give you all sorts of problems when you're trying to record. All right, so once you open up OBS, what we're going to do is go over to our scenes selection and just add a new scene, name it whatever you want. From there, we're going to go over to our sources and we're going to add a source, which will be a gain capture. You could technically name that whatever you wanted. I'll just call it Serato Pro. And we're going to go ahead and capture a specific window in the mode, and that will be Serato DJ. Now you can use the corners to kind of resize this, just kind of fit it to the frame, and you really don't need to see the library. It's more important to see exactly what's going on. Now I don't have my mixer hooked up, so this is just the default of what it looks like. Now next, we're going to go ahead and add the webcams in. Now to do this, we're going to find the video capture device. You can name that whatever you want, webcam one. There's that. Now, I've actually already recorded this, so the reason my mouth isn't moving in this is because I'm actually coming back in here and just kind of talking over a video I already recorded earlier. So then we can go ahead and add a second one here. I'll just use the integrated webcam that's on my laptop, but we're going to do the same thing. Just click on Video Capture Device. Call it Webcam 2 because I'm so cool like that. And bam, now there's two webcams over my OBS project, and I have Serato DJ. If you hold shift and click these corners, you can actually manually resize these windows. If you don't hold shift, then it's going to kind of scale them. I do my dance. But there is one more step. We do need to go ahead and add our audio input into this. So if you go into that same area, go to the audio input capture. Name that whatever you want. Click OK, and then select your input from this menu here. As soon as you click OK, that'll add it in, and you'll see right there that it's been added to the audio mixer. You can mute different channels, add different channels, even drag in another song if you so feel, feel the need to do so. That's the cool thing about OBS Project. When it comes to actually setting up the webcams, you are on your own. So in my studio, I've completely padded it on the ceiling and all the walls with acoustic foam. I was able to stick the cameras in between the foam and they're not gonna fall out because they're lightweight enough. Just play around, find out what's best for you. Your end result should look something like this and you'll be able to hear all the audio that you're mixing. So that's it guys, good luck and enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.